This video and hundreds more like it, available on freephotoshopvideotutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how we can overprocess a photo on purpose to make it seem uh, more gritty, more uh, grunge, if you will. So what we do here with, uh, with this image here is uh, we're actually going to be using sort of a technique that is used for actually sharpening uh, an image a bit, but we're going to take it a little bit step further. So we're going to, first of all, just duplicate this image, so just uh, Control and J. And uh, we're going to go into Filter, and if you don't see it here, just click on Show All Menu Items. There's, uh, we're going to go into Filter, Other, and High Paths. You might have seen our, uh, one of our first tutorials we've done with uh, using High Paths to actually um, you know, make a, an image sharper. What we want to do here is, of course, with the High Pass, what happens is uh, it just adds some, some gray, and you start seeing some relief of an image. But essentially, you start, if you start from zero, you start with a lot of gray. And what we want here is um, to not have a lot of the gray. So if you keep on moving uh, your slide around, you start seeing that more of your image starts showing through and you have less of the gray. I mean, the gray is kind of just still there, but it's a bit fuzzy, more like a cloud, really. And that's what we really want. So um, for this image in particular, we want something around 20, 25, 27, thereabouts. Um, depending on the size of your image, you might need more. So if you have a, more, a higher resolution image, you might need twice as much. So basically, that's what I'm saying is you want to uh, have it to a point where the gray is more like just a gray fuzz cloud, if you will. So we're going to go with... Um, <clears throat> something like 23. Click OK. And now we're just going to change our blend mode here to hard light, right? And you can see here what it's done. It's just made it more contrasty, right? Now we're going to, uh, like I said, we're over processing. So we're not just going to make it more contrasty, we're going to make it a lot more contrasty. So we're just going to do a Control and J again to duplicate that. And once more again to duplicate it again. So we have three. Uh, hard light layers. Uh, in the last layer here, if you want to tweak it a little bit, you can change the opacity a bit to uh, to tweak it if you think that you've gone a little bit too much. But essentially, you want something that is you know quite in your face, quite saturated at the moment, anyways. Now, what we want to do is uh, just add a new layer here, and we're going to add this. We're going to add a, a, a fifty percent gray. So make sure that your color here is zero, zero, and fifty. And just fill that in. So if it's your foreground, it's Alt and Backspace to fill that in. And now we're just going to add a little bit of uh, of noise to this, to uh, to make it seem a little bit more more gritty. Like I said, so we want an amount of about four percent. Make sure it's Gaussian and monochromatic. Click OK and change the mode to Overlay. Okay. And now you can see that. Uh, let me just zoom in here a bit more. You can see that we start adding a bit more uh, noise to the image, making a little bit. Uh, a little bit grittier. If you want to make it a little bit more than that, you can actually change the opacity here to hard light and, uh, and then you can tweak it. I'm not going with this effect because um, there's the, the, the center white hat here and it's it's not bringing in any desirable amount of uh, of the noise here, even if I bring that down. I don't think it looks quite good here in, on the face. So in this particular image, it doesn't work for you. It might work for you in hard light because it does here, it makes it beautifully gritty. But uh, it's not doing much for us here. So I'm, that's why I'm sticking with overlay. It's, it's a lot more subtle, but it's, it's still there. So we have it there. And now what we can do is desaturate this image a little bit. So we're going to go into uh, hue and saturation adjustment layer. And uh, we're just going to decrease the saturation here by uh, 30, 40 points. Uh, you don't want black and white, but you want something that is uh, more desaturated. So something like that, or something like that, right? So I'm going to go here with a negative 38, click OK. And uh, here we are. So we have sort of like a grungy, uh, gritty photo here that is a little bit lacking in uh, saturation, but it's very contrasty and over-processed. And uh, let's compare here the before and the after for you to see. So that's the before, and that is the after. And notice how much of that everything kind of just jumps out at you, and uh, you know just kind of <laughs> almost attacks you. Uh, and and you know this that there's legitimate reasons for wanting to do this to make it seem a little bit more extreme. If you have skateboarding scenes or things that are out in the street and so forth, this looks really good. So it's a really nice effect to be able to apply. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.